The nominations for the Game Awards just got released. Everyone's already been talking about it. Personally, and this is a completely original take, but Baldur's K3, man, that, that deserves all the awards. Game of the year, best RPG, best narrative. Um, it doesn't even compare. Baldur's Gate 3 is the best best game of the year like period like it, it, it's it's no contest and i feel like most people know that a lot of people are gonna you know get butt hurt and angry and they're gonna just vote against it and also i do understand that baldur's gate 3 isn't really a game for everybody a lot of my irl friends pretty much most of them have played it not all of them have beaten it but most of them have, have played it and they pretty much all like it but i have one friend man who he doesn't want to play it and it's because it's just not his type of game he doesn't like turn-based games and it's just not his thing and then i have a lot of friends that haven't played it because they don't have time with me i've played crpgs pretty much my whole life I've, i'm a huge fan of role-playing games and turn-based games it's probably one of my favorite genres if not my favorite so for me it's a cakewalk to get invested and to learn new mechanics but for somebody who doesn't have a lot of time and has never really played those types of games that's got to be pretty intimidating to get into you you know you can't really convince that person to spend 60 dollars on something that they're not really going to have a lot of time for you know because i have a lot of friends that don't have a lot of time they have families they have kids they have jobs you know so the games they play it's like call of duty and apex you know, they can get on those, play a 20 minute match here and there, maybe a couple of them, and then that's it. They gotta go to bed, they got shit to do the next morning, so I get it, it's not really for everybody. But arguably, if you have to look at it from a perspective of, all right, what is the best game of the year? Baldur's Gate 3, no contest. Now, the problem I have with the Game Awards, and this is something that a lot of people have been talking about, is that there are some games that are just not nominated for anything. The most popular game that people are talking about again is Hogwarts Legacy, which up until Baldur's Gate 3 came out, Hogwarts Legacy was the biggest game of 2023. And you could say that was because of controversy. You could say that was because, oh, it's a part of the Harry Potter IP. It doesn't change the fact that it sold 15 million copies. Tons of people were playing it. It was the most streamed game. I know people who don't even play games, who are playing Hogwarts Legacy, who don't even watch Harry Potter and haven't even seen the movies, who are playing Hogwarts Legacy. Like, I know more people that played Hogwarts Legacy than have played Baldur's Gate 3. Now, I'm not saying it's better than Baldur's Gate 3. Obviously, it isn't. It's really not even a groundbreaking game. It's just, if you think about it, and if you think about all the development hell that it went through, the fact that it came out the way that it did is impressive it is an enjoyable game i had a lot of fun with it I, I beat the whole thing i did like all the side shit and i played it on the ps5 but i did all the side shit i did all the missions and there were some missions and quests that i thought were actually really really good now it doesn't mean that it's the greatest most best game of the year but it's obvious that the game awards are just trying to distance themselves from the game. They don't want to acknowledge it or give it any type of recognition. That's that's extremely apparent. I don't want to get into like political reasons or give this game any, like you could say, oh, well, it's not that good. It's not that good. That's why I didn't get nominated. All right, cool, fine. What about the music? The music was actually pretty good. Like, I was surprised it didn't get nominated for the soundtrack. Like, I'm not saying it should have won the soundtrack. I don't think it should, but a nomination at least. There are just certain things that are just missing. Maybe art direction. And let me tell you one thing. Let's, let's even put a break on Hogwarts. Where the fuck was Atomic Heart? Atomic Heart is a game that was made by a small company. This is their first project they've ever released. I know it wasn't everybody's favorite, but I loved Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart was awesome. And the fact that it was running on Unreal Engine 4 and it didn't get nominated for Best Art Direction, that makes no fucking sense to me at all. If you have played Atomic Heart or if you haven't, the art direction in that game is fucking sublime it is insanely good and i thought it was a terrific game i thought it should have been nominated for number one best art direction i think it should have won out of all the categories that you know we get to pick from i think it knocks all of those out of the fucking park number two best action game i 
you could arguably say, oh, Dead Island 2 or or Diablo or, you know, whatever these games are better action games. All right, fine. But it's like at least a nomination. So there are a lot of snubs this year. And I understand that both of those games, Hogwarts Legacy and Atomic Heart, had their controversies. And a lot of people, you know, said, oh, you can't play this. You know, it's from Russia. And a lot of people are saying, oh, you can't play this because it's JK Rowling. I get it, but it's it's just kind of it's just kind of stupid, man, that like the game awards are turning into basically the Oscars. You know, the Oscars 10 years ago used to actually mean something. It used to be something that people gave a shit about, but most people just don't fucking care about it anymore. And the game awards is is slowly but surely heading, you know, down that pathway. The, I think the biggest thing that it's going to have going for it now is really just the reveals, you know, new games that we're going to be getting in the future. A lot of people are talking about how GTA 6 is going to be revealed. But yeah, man, that's really just my opinions. I don't want to turn this into a political video and talk about all these and, you know, break down these controversies and go into depth. That's what Twitter's for if you really want to go that way. But let me know what you guys think. What game do you think should have been nominated? Uh, was your favorite game nominated? What game do you think should win? You know, what, what do you guys think about the Game Awards? You know, just let me know down below. Keep it civil. Let's just have a conversation about it. And in the meantime, guys, I will see y'all later.